Thanks everybody for joining us for this Thursday edition of Life Lifters. We've been talking all week about leadership. And today I wanna to talk to you about one of the most important aspects of leadership and that's vision, vision. When it comes to leadership, it's where you're taking them. What's the difference between a great leader and a poor leader? Where you're taking people. A great leader takes people to God-honoring places, to places that bring joy to everybody involved, not just the leader, not just the people, but everybody who goes on the journey together. Great leaders have a vision for what they can do for the world, what they can do for their community, what they can do for the church, what they can do to help other people, and also what God will do through them by affecting this change in the world. And I get that because leadership, and that's basically vision. What's vision? It's a picture of the future that is better than the reality of the present. A picture of the future that's better than the reality of the present. Vision is seeing further, clearer, more positive than anybody else around. You ever been in an organization where there's somebody who had the title of leader, but really someone else was the actual leader? You know why? It's because the person who had the title of leader wasn't thinking further, clearer, and more positively than the person who unofficially was the leader but didn't have the title. And I get that because when you have a great vision for somebody, they will follow you. I get this from Nehemiah chapter 2, verses 17 to 18. Before I read it, a little bit of backgrounds in order. The walls of Jerusalem and the city had been destroyed by the Babylonians in 586. In 445 BC, um, some you know, 140 years later approximately, um, the reconstruction of the walls around Jerusalem was permitted by the next world empire, um, uh, the um, Medo-Persians. And during the start of the construction of the wall around Jerusalem, it had been destroyed and uh, ransacked by people who were against the project. Nehemiah cried out to God in Nehemiah chapter 1. And then in chapter 2, he went with permission from the king who he served as a cupbearer for, went to Jerusalem, toured it, and said these very words. Look at this. Then I said to the people, you see the trouble we are in. Jerusalem lies in ruins and its gates have been burned with fire. Come, let us rebuild the wall of Jerusalem and we will no longer be in disgrace. I also told them about the gracious hand of my God upon me and what the king had said to me, and that is that they gave permission to rebuild it. Notice the reaction. They replied, let us start rebuilding. So they began this what? Good work. What's the point? The point is that Nehemiah had a great vision for the people, and the people saw it and wanted to follow. It's where you're going. When you're leading somebody, where you're taking them is important for you, for them, for the world, for whoever you're trying to impact. And if you're taking them somewhere only you want to go and they don't want to go, that's called selfish leadership. That's not where you should be going. Where you should be going is where everybody wins. The world wins, the community wins, the church wins, God wins, you win, the people with you win. And the great task of leadership is taking people where they need to go. I forget if it was Tom Landry, the legendary coach of the Dallas Cowboys, or Vince Lombardi, legendary coach of the Packers, but one of them said this, my job as a coach is to get people to do what they do not want to do so that they can become what they've always wanted to become. What's that? Visionary leadership, taking people where they want to go. Nobody wants to do all that hard work, but everybody wants to be a world champion. When you have a chance to lead, you can do it by telling people there's a better way. Telling your kids, I've got a vision for your life, there's a better way. Telling your spouse, there's a better way. Telling somebody you're dating who wants to do something not God's way, here's the better way. And if you don't follow this vision, you better get a vision for another boyfriend or girlfriend because this is how I'm working. Having a vision that takes you where you should be going. When it comes to leadership, it's where you're taking them. Nehemiah teaches that, and life teaches that as well. Let's pray. Father, thank you for this gift of leadership. Help me as a leader to take our church only where it needs to go, and for all our leaders to take different parts of our church only where it needs to go, and for all the people watching and listening 
to lead in such a way where they take the people in their world only where they all need to go. It's a precious gift, God. Help us to not squander it by going somewhere we don't need to go. Thank you for this in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, use your life to take people where they need to go and where you need to go for God's glory. Thanks and have a great day.